Nigerian genius. I'm Tawi Deyo by name, the part 5 student of mechanical engineering from the Eastern University of Laotik. My name is Abiso Yatle Samson, a 500 level mechanical engineering student of Laduk Akitula University of Technology. I am Oli Yanlulu Amosis, a 500 level student from Laduk Akitula University of Technology. The name of our school is Laduk Akitula University of Technology, Ogbumosho, Oyo State. Myself and my team are here just to learn, to unlearn and relearn, and also to promote uh, engineering skills, to promote engineering to the world by leveraging our, on our skills, both technical and non-technical, to bring about innovative ideas to solving some challenges facing the manufacturing industries in Nigeria. So our expectation at the end of this program is that we are, we are, we are looking forward to network with students, individuals from various institutions of learning. Our coming from Ogumosho, or your state, is for us to win, actually. Okay, uh, you have entrusted us with your vote right from the beginning and we are promising you that we won't let you down. Please vote for Team Lautech. Thank you very much. This morning, we were given an evaluation form which evaluates our skills and just to know what we can do. Today we had a challenge. The challenge was about putting an egg inside a, a, a disposable cup, whereby the disposable cup is being raised at 30 inches. So at a free fall, the egg is, is expected not to break. Egg will that. drop from a height of 30 cm to a table surface. You have to be creative. You have a wide range of materials to work with. But one thing you have to ensure is that the egg falls without breaking. You have five minutes for planning and 25 minutes for execution. I, we make sure we use the store and the given materials, the, the, the cutting wood to, in order to uh, barricade or to coat the egg in order for it not to spoil or crack at the process of free fall. Yes, basically it worked and by the time I saw it work, I was, I was elated, I was happy that we could come up with this kind of ingenious idea and also put it forward. By the time we, we put that thing down at the inches at the height of the egg, it got to know that by the time they removed the egg, the egg did not crack. The egg is intact. Congratulations, Team Lautech. Now, from the discussion we had this morning, it was actually an enlightening moment with the organizers. We were, we, our eyes were open that we as students, as also a Nigerian, we can come up with ideas that will solve you know, the problem that we are facing in our country. Some of the goals of the Nigerian genius include to create a national attention to engineering as a critical component of national development. In fact, no country in the world has ever developed or advanced without a strong engineering sector. No country. And no country in the world can do that. This morning, we, under, we underwent classes from CAD, 3D printing, and CAM. But um, we started with Autodesk, and in the Autodesk, we were able to design the glue. In the 3D printing, we were also able to design this particular cube. By this cube, 3D, print, 3D printer is a printer that is being made of a filament. So that filament is a polymeric material that is being rounded in a circular shape like this. So we inserted the filament in the 3D printer and we have already designed a cube on our software. So we sent that already designed um, cube on the, on the software to the, to the 3D printer and it's printed this for us and this is it. And we're happy and elated that we could come up with this kind of thing. Dear viewers, kindly support, kindly endorse the Nautic, kindly look up to in a lot of innovative ideas in subsequent time. This is the Nautic, and we are yet to win. We shall win. We shall win.